take a quarter cup. I'll show you one of my favorite recipes. Walnut chorizo cheesy nachos. And in this recipe, we've got two secret ingredients. One is walnuts for our chorizo, and the other one is butternut squash for our cheese. And what you want to do is take a whole butternut squash and just slice it down the middle. And if you notice the color on this, doesn't it kind of look like nacho cheese already? Pretty cool. I've got my oven already on at 375 degrees. And into the oven it goes for about 30 minutes until it's really cooked through. I've had one already in there that's been cooking. It looks really, really good. So I'm gonna let it cool down. For our walnut chorizo, soak about one cup of raw walnuts in just really, really hot water. What this does, it softens up the nuts so that it can resemble sort of the crumbly texture of a meaty chorizo. And after about 10 minutes, you just drain it. I'll put it on my cutting board. And I'll just give them a rough cut. So into a saute pan, I'm using avocado oil. Warm them up, give them some color. We need two tablespoons of our Mexican seasoning. Then we need one tablespoon of tomato paste. We need one more thing. We have to make our cheese sauce. The butternut squash has been cooling down. Take a metal spoon and you scoop out all that wonderful cooked butternut squash. And we need about three cups. So one more ingredient that you may not be familiar with that we're gonna add in here, it's something called oat milk. There's so many different dairy-free alternatives right now. Oat milk is basically just soaked oats in water. And over time, it sort of creates what I call cereal milk, but mine is all the sugar. One cup of oat milk goes into the blender. One more ingredient, it's our nutritional yeast. One quarter cup, a pinch of salt, one teaspoon of chipotle powder, Ooh, that's got a lot of flavor. All we have to do is blend. In a matter of seconds, look how creamy and velvety smooth this is. Get a big bowl of chips and then just smother it with this beautiful cheese sauce. What I really love about this recipe is that the cheese sauce never really congeals so that the first bite is as good as the last one. Our chorizo crumbles, and sprinkle them right on top. And then squeeze some fresh lime juice all over the beautiful nachos. Fresh cilantro. My mouth is watering. I have to give this a try. Mmm, it's so good. There's crunchiness, there's creaminess from that cheese dip. A lot of spice from that chorizo. Ah, oh, it's so delicious, so nutritious. You have to make this tonight.